Welcome, friends of our world. Thanks for being present for this offering. My teacher and mentor, Bill Mollison, noted, great changes are taking place. These are not the result of any one group or teaching, but as a result of millions of people defining one or more ways in which they can conserve energy, aid local self-reliance, or provide for themselves. All of us would acknowledge our own work as modest. It is the totality of such modest work that is impressive. We must all try to increase our skills, to model trials, and to pass on the results. If a job is not being done, we can form a small group and just do it. It doesn't matter if the work carries the permaculture label, just that we do it. I am Delvin Solkinson, the Diploma Program Coordinator at the Permaculture Institute, working with Director Jason Gearhart to offer the People's Diploma, and facilitator of the Visionary Permaculture Design Program at Cosm Chapel of Sacred Mirrors with my beloved wife, Grace. I've loved being a student of Luby McNamara since 2015. This is a photo from my induction ceremony at the Sustainability Center in the UK. Having done a teacher training with Luby and Rosemary Morrow at Applewood 1.0, a dynamic facilitation course with Luby and Robin Clayfield, as well as a social permaculture apprenticeship with Luby, Starhawk, Robina McCurdy, and Robin Clayfield at the Sustainability Center. A people permaculture facilitator training with Luby and Peter Cow at Applewood Permaculture Center. Assistant teaching with her at a cultural emergence design web training at Rolling Earth in the Elphinstone Rainforest. I also benefited from doing her two exceptional online offerings, Cultural Emergence Taster Course and Activating Cultural Emergence Online. The details of my work can be found in my recent doctoral slideshow presentation on YouTube, which was done about six months before this recording. That presentation shares the foundation of details upon which this work is built, as well as a thousand pages of design work available freely on my website. In this light, for this presentation, we will focus on the patterns, processes, and practices of design. This is my first ever online class. During my diploma, I have engaged in the Permaculture Association's approach to learning, including design skills, using design processes and tools to create working permaculture systems, permaculture practice, evaluating and reflecting on work to increase your skills and understanding, evaluating, increase the knowledge and understanding of permaculture systems, such as their effectiveness and overall cost, dissemination, sharing work and insights with others, community building, developing supportive social networks. In this online presentation, I will take inspiration from principles of accelerated learning, including learning takes place on many levels simultaneously. Learning is not the passive storage of information, but the active creation of knowledge. Allow learners to come to their own conclusions through experience. Total learner involvement enhances learning. Pattern level intro, garden, learn, teach, and be of service to become better. These are core life practices of permaculture. Everyone is a designer, constantly making decisions in the present that help to manifest the future. The goal today is to share something of my design journey that helps you become a more effective designer. It's less about the content of the presentation and more about your process of connecting it to things you are already doing. Luby McNamara advised, learn to look at the pattern level of designs. See how to make designs that are shareable and educational for others. See your design as a way to help someone else on their journey. What lessons are you taking forward and sharing with others.
In an email exchange this week with permaculture pioneer Graham Bell, he said, I don't think we can empower anyone. I think that what we can do is create the right habitat in which people can empower themselves because actually they are the only people who can do that. The design methods I immersed myself in during the diploma were golden keys which have unlocked my next level as a designer. These are from Luby Nakamura. The design web shares 12 design anchor points that works together to embody permaculture principles, strategies, and methods for holistic designing and decision making. The design web helps drive the design, asking the right questions and opening up key information about what is wanted, what is needed, and the actions to fulfill those wants and needs in an effective way. Each of the anchor points have golden keys that will help unlock the design. These include insights, leverage points, and holistic understandings that can propel the design forward successfully. One of the core functions of the design web is the process of manifestation, including cultivating and sharing inner gifts and skills to unlock new opportunities, and leaving space for the emergence of unexpected manifestations. Where are you? Where do you want to be? What are the steps in between? Core goals of designing include gleaning these gems. What are you actually trying to achieve with the design? What are the core functions? What are the core needs? What are the core intentions? What systems can be put in place to fulfill those functions, needs, and intentions? A design web anchor point is principles, which I sometimes call perspectives. Get out of your own way and outside your own box. Discover new and creative ways about thinking how to unlock your next level. In this light, I will also integrate core routines of cultural emergence, a series of practices and habits for reconnection, regeneration, and evolution. These core routines support a larger pattern of phases. The first phase is nourish and empower, rest, relaxation, regeneration, and healing. Too much can be unproductive, not enough, and we run out of steam. Second phase is challenge and awaken, getting to work, chop wood, carry water, do the mundane tasks of every day, cleaning your house, yard, and neighborhood, being in right relationship, doing work in order to get money to take care of things. My teacher, Bill Mollison, the originator of permaculture, calls this, get your house in order. Too much can cause overwhelm, not enough can cause lack of motivation. The third phase is move and invigorate, align actions with purpose and higher service to manifest dreams and visions. Follow your creative passions, be a part of the world in your own special way. Too much we burn out, not enough creates stagnation. These master patterns will be referenced throughout the presentation. In the Bible of permaculture, Bill Malson wrote, patterning is the way we frame our designs, a template into which we fit the information, entities, and objects assembled from observation, map overlays, the analytic divination of connections, and the selection of specific materials and technologies. It is this patterning that permits our elements to flow and function in beneficial relationships. The pattern is design, and design is the subject of permaculture. Activity. This permaculture class is an opportunity for you to take a project, practice, relationship, garden, home, or business to a new level of effectiveness and resilience. Do you have something you are actively designing that you want to focus on during this design class? Design web anchor point is ideas, gathering inspiration. One way you can participate in this presentation is by taking notes on how any part of this experience can apply to yourself 
and your own unique life work. Pay attention to action items that may come up for you, intentions you have, or declarations you want to make. Practice the cultural emergence core routine. Be attentive to shifts, openings, and opportunities. Be alert and conscious to the signs and oracles of everyday life. The world is communicating with you in every moment. Divine your design with active awareness. At each pause point, I will ask a question, and there will be just enough time to write down one word or a short phrase to help unlock your design process. This will get you started. You can pause the recording to give more time, or after the presentation, you can come back to keynotes and expand your design work. I will begin each optional interactive activity question with the word question. Welcoming anyone to entirely let go of answering the activity questions and simply enjoy following along with the pictures. Let's start with gratitude. The design web anchor point is appreciation. Cultivate an attitude of gratitude and a personal culture of gratitude. Work to best appreciate yourself and your life team. Those who want to participate could write down in the YouTube or Vimeo comments your name, your location, your website, and one thing you are grateful for. I practice the cultural emergence core principle, give and receive encouragement. Lift each other up with heartfelt affirmations and compliments. Learn to receive this energy gracefully from others as well. Help activate an upward spiral. So grateful for this opportunity to do a diploma. Thanks so much to Luby McNamara, one of my most beloved visionary teachers. Thanks to the Permaculture Association for this opportunity to learn and practice permaculture with guidance and support. Bows to the Permaculture Association team, including Andy, Kath, Gemma, Ryan, Kara, Chris, Joe, Scarlett, and Celia. Also the Sustainability Center, including Christine, Janet, Penny, and Tony. And Permaculture Publications team, including Maddie and Tim. And so much thanks to Jason Geardhart for being such a powerful force in my life at this time. Also, core thanks to Larry Santoyo, who's supporting me in a postdoc journey with permaculture, of which this presentation is a part. Pattern level intro. Leonardo da Vinci wrote, I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but those whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves their conduct will pursue their principles. A design web anchor point is vision. Articulate dreams, goals, and core functions. When I created my learning plan in 2015, I called this diploma The Golden Way, Designing Design and Permaculturing Permaculture. A vision statement begins with the end in mind. It is general and looks to the long-term design. My diploma vision statement helped bring permaculture to a new level of accessibility. Question. Write down a few words that connect you to your bigger vision. A mission statement helps define short-term success. My diploma mission statement, empower people to become more confident and competent permaculture designers, teachers, and consultants. Question, write down a few words that connect you to your present mission.
Ethics. My dear teacher Bill Mollison shared the prime directive of permaculture. The only ethical decision is to take responsibility for our own existence and that of our children. Living in the modern age, we all have a footprint, and I certainly took a lot of flights these past five years. My hope is to fulfill Larry Santoyo's mandate and make my handprint bigger than my footprint. I intend to help and be in service to Larry Santoyo's brilliant articulation of the permaculture life ethic. Repair and conserve the earth. Question. What is one way you will practice earth care? Seek peace and guard human rights everywhere. Question. What is one way you will practice people care? Invest all capital, intelligence, goodwill, and labor to these ends. Question. What is one way you will practice future care? Design for gardening. Wendell Berry wrote, we learn from our gardens to deal with the most urgent question of the time, how much is enough? During the two years of the diploma, I completed the last bit of 14 years of work, during which time I did 20 hours per week, designing, implementing, and maintaining the 1.2 acre downtown core of my coastal rainforest village as a permaculture demonstration site and living classroom called the Heart Gardens. Core lessons from the design process. A design web anchor point is helps. Identify your resources and supports, including your life team. I love joyfully engaging the community design process of a public space with a sense of openness, collaboration, and service. It was often better to incorporate ideas from the on-site business owners, regardless of whether they were the best design decisions in order to engender a sense of community participation and collective responsibility. After a long period of building trust with the local community through free garden tours and free introduction to permaculture days and simply chatting with people who approached me while gardening, during the diploma time period, we were funded to put in many new installations of placemaking elements like benches, unusual seating and garden expansions. Patterns for a community learning garden included free public harvest and seed collecting, a wide variety of berries and recognizable edibles, unusual hardy perennials. Having an edible and medicinal landscape brought benefit to my health and the health of all who enjoyed these public gardens. A compost with signage included worm bin and biodynamic gardens that was locked from public use modeled quick return soil making techniques, an easy thing for people to replicate in their backyard. People were invited to take stinging nettle, comfrey, and other composting super plants home. I practiced the cultural emergence principle, discover abundance. Look to nature and its regenerative power to discover the abundance of the world we all share in. Become even more of a gardener and discover how easy it is to grow food and medicine. Useful design strategies, use of driftwood and found objects in the garden design, native plants for wildlife, as well as productivity and resilience, focus on four season harvest for people and wildlife, 
attention to traditional land use practices and ethnobotany, having the parking area able to be roped off so it can serve as a multi-use space, provide printed and online maps of all the plants, their uses and locations in the garden, share a free brary of permaculture design textbooks, as well as plant, animal, bird, insect, and fungi ID books, experiment with plant guilds and polycultures, gift people plants and seeds, and encourage further sharing. A social permaculture design method I developed during this process was for community building and networking. Here is the essence of the pattern. Create a nonprofit community project of any kind. Make a website and a printed card about it. Approach the local green organizations and NGOs, local schools, including directors, principals, staff teams, and parent advisory councils, and local levels of government, including community groups, organizations, and council members, or any such local groups that might be interested in your project. Ask to be able to make a short formal presentation about your free community project at their staff meeting. Do not ask for money or resources on this first meeting. Just ask that they support your project and allow you to list them in a supported by section on your website and media. Once this is completed, move out to the regional or bioregional levels and repeat this process. This will connect you with educational groups, green organizations and government bodies in your area while connecting people in your community to them and also helping connect them all together. My experience was it totally blew the minds of many organizations that someone would go to the trouble to make a proposal without asking for any money or resources, as almost all such projects and proposals to these groups are asking for budget to make something happen. In my case of using an educational community garden as the project, they were all happy to give something to support that cost them nothing. Simply their symbolic but formal support for my project by providing me with a logo and permission to include them in a supported by section on my website and printed garden map. I discovered down the road that when I wanted to apply for grants, paid work positions, or any opportunities, all of those people and organizations already knew who I was since we'd met in a creative way and were more open to considering a next level to our relationship. Question. Is there some volunteer community service project which you could use to connect with people and resources in your community? A design web anchor point is reflection, considering the design process and what can be applied to future projects and designs. Note the importance of reflecting at each step. After a one year transition moving into a rental farmhouse in upstate New York at Cosm Chapel of Sacred Mirrors, my beloved Grace and I have been going deeper with plant-based permaculture, focusing on our design for life, health and gardens taking time for nature connection, getting on a first name basis with the plants, trees, and animals, learning bird songs, and more of the amazing medicinal wild weeds. A keynote from Luby was the importance in permaculture of doing the design first, then adapting it to the process. Most often people design on the fly. A solid foundation is a good map, which allows design on the fly to be more anchored in awareness of opportunities and constraints. Grace and I are mapping where we live. We have new ID books for native plants, trees, birds, reptiles, mushrooms, and mammals, and are noting harvests in each month. Question, what is the next step to map or continue to map where you live? We are getting into foraging, wildcrafting, herbalism. 
medicinal teas and soups, including mushrooms, considering holistic nutrition, taking time to exercise and be in our bodies. We're designing and building a garden right now, moving from planning to design to implementation in a relatively short time, creating a movable garden. It's a simple seven by 14 foot greenhouse. We replaced the plastic cover with a net, so it's like a net house that can turn into a shade house in the summer and a greenhouse in early spring and late autumn. We got untreated cedar boards and cloth pots for raised beds, a big canvas tarp and a simple cedar compost with a metal leaf bin. Purchasing heritage variety plants and seeds from organic, permaculture and native plant-based nurseries in our region. A design web anchor point is action. Next proactive steps to actively manifest your design. Question. What is an action step you can take to build a garden or take an existing garden to the next level of fertility, diversity, and abundance? Designed for learning and teaching. In his autobiography, Travels and Dreams, Bill Molson wrote, We permaculture teachers seek to empower any person by practical model making and applied work. In addition to the courses with and one-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions from Luby McNamara during the diploma, I also did a PDC with Rosemary Morrow in rural Greece an advanced permaculture design course with the Bullocks on their homestead, perhaps my favorite permaculture site in the world. A masterclass teacher training with Larry Santoyo and Scott Pittman on Oahu. A teacher training with Robin Francis at Jan Bung Gardens, Nimbin, Australia. And an advanced permaculture planning and design process course at Meliadora with David Holmgren, Sue Dennett, and Dan Palmer. During the diploma, Kim Shi and I offered 20 free introductory days and seven year long permaculture design certificate courses in British Columbia. I co-taught 10 classes and two full year-long PDCs with Grace at Cosm Chapel of Sacred Mirrors in New York, while offering a two and a half year long advanced design program and mentoring people through the Permaculture Institute diploma as a field mentor. A design web anchor point is patterns. Identify patterns that support your success. Translate successful patterns from other areas of life into the design. Luby helped me recognize that the pattern level design for any field of human endeavor, top tips, do's and don'ts, and best practices. Teaching is embedded, like all of nature, in a process of succession. A core function of permaculture pioneers and master teachers is to help cultivate a next generation of elders, teachers, mentors, and guides. It is a teaching lineage that goes back to our origins as a species a natural wisdom tradition that has helped protect our planet and people while safeguarding our future. I collected the top tips, do's and don'ts, and best practices from all the teachers I studied with during the diploma, especially at the permaculture teacher trainings. These were published in a book, Permaculture Design Teacher's Notes, available freely online or in a printed form. I also helped Rosemary Morrow get her incredible new edition of Training Permaculture Teachers as an on-demand printed book and online download. Permaculture is in a unique position today to share the teachings and practices of all the world's wisdom traditions, along with modern understandings. Robin Francis said at the teacher training in Jan Bun Gardens, one of the gems of teaching is that you are always learning. And that is why I keep taking diplomas. They keep me on the learning path. Question. Is there a class that you could take during this time to deepen your permaculture design practice?
core lessons from the design process. From co-teaching with Kim Shi in British Columbia, I learned to avoid negative patterns like information overload, burnout, or nega attention span. Cover less concepts in a fuller way rather than more concepts in a cursory way. Less is more. Think about information retention. Teach only what you feel the students can both understand and retain. Always end sessions on time and give breaks when you said breaks would be. Revisit the schedule and learning agreements throughout the course. Regularly disrupt patterns and routines with fun and creative activities. Identify spirals of erosion and take additional class breaks anytime for any reason. I love what our teacher Susan Weed said to us, take the most responsibility possible. The design process taught me about the value of documentation and how to deepen learnings and lessons, taking them to the pattern level so they actually inform and upgrade other systems in life and unlock new design possibilities. Documentation is something the Permaculture Diploma provides amazing structure for. Question. What is one additional way you could document your learning adventure and integrate your core learnings into the way you design? With my team, Kim Chi, Dana Wilson, Annalise Hordern and Grace, I collaborated to develop a design strategy for effectively taking classes. Here's the pattern. Offer to design additional pre-course media, actively promoting the course before it happens to support attendance and international attention. Offer to make media and articles that promote the teacher, organization and course after the course happens as a tuition exchange. Have a photographer and videographer help capture images and video, as well as doing interviews with the teachers. This could also be part of a tuition exchange. Take great notes for the course, transcribe the interviews with the teachers, offer the finished text to the teachers for optional editing. Collect photographs, art, doodles, and notes from the participants of the class. Use this media bay of photos, art, text, and video to write articles for permaculture magazines, sharing the best of all the materials gathered, put together meme maps, social media graphics with quotes and websites, as well as class experience eBooks to share information and inspiration from the course, document what happened and promote the teachers course and sites. Create a slideshow with music to share with participants and beyond. Make short micro videos that are easily shared on social media put together a presentation based on the course learnings to share with permaculture groups, as well as family, friends, and allied members of the local community upon returning home. Apply the learnings to expand your own teaching tools and upgrade core class curriculum for any classes you teach. Question, is there a class that you want to take in the future and how might you propose to do an tuition exchange for helping to support that course to happen? A design web anchor point is limits. Identify things that might block the path, keep it small, or slow it down. Trace limits to self-limiting beliefs and flip them on their head by turning them into a design affirmation. My biggest challenge to teaching is to inspire people to participate. Our free intro days, year-long permaculture design courses, and multi-year advanced courses all had massive life attrition of up to 50%. We could get 40 signups for a free intro day, then have 20 people show up that morning. In the longer courses, people would change jobs, move, have children, and be swept off into their own lives in the middle of the program. My self-limiting belief to overcome was the belief it was too hard for me to inspire participation in my classes. 
I flipped this into the life mission that Rosemary Morrow drew out of me at Applewood 1.0 teacher training to continually practice, take courses, and keep learning in an ongoing way, progressing through the succession of learning and slowly cultivating increased capacity to successfully communicate and bring people together. A helpful cultural emergence principle, anyone can raise the vibration. Everyone has the power to uplift the energy, vibe, and feeling. Your positivity is a gift to everyone you come in contact with. Empower yourself and others by bringing a relentless joy and optimism to your relationships. A strategic design method for giving courses created with kimchi in British Columbia. Identify the towns, villages, or neighborhoods within a few hours commute of where you live that you would like to teach in. Connect with community groups, nonprofit organizations, community centers, colleges, universities, or government bodies in that area and propose they present your class by providing a free space for you to do it in, as well as promoting it to their network and community. Kim and I did free introduction to permaculture days. A free introduction to any topic would do. Nurture successful classes and make them into annual events with advanced planning and promotion. Keep in touch with participants so you can promote the following year's class to them and invite them to help promote it too. Get feedback from each group of students and change the curriculum notes accordingly. Facilitation team also does a roses, thorns, and buds evaluation after each session. Notes written down and changes made to core curriculum documents. Change the workshop content each year to attract back people who already took the program the year before and watch the numbers rise. Have a longer program people can attend. This could help support you financially. Question. Is there a free class you might try offering people in your local community or even taking to other communities? Here I draw strength from cultural emergence principle, allow for the possibility of the seemingly impossible. Step outside your own box and dissolve self-limiting beliefs. Entertain the idea that you don't know the limits of what is possible. Accept that things you might think to be impossible are entirely possible. Open up to the miraculous. Since the doctoral presentation six months ago, with the collaboration and support of Jason Gearhart, the director of the Permaculture Institute, and the core guidance from permaculture pioneer Scott Pittman, we have launched the People's Diploma, an accessible, affordable, and achievable next step for permaculture design learning. This participant-driven program is designed for self-motivated learners who want to choose their own texts, site visits, design projects, and teachers to learn with, while being guided by a structure to complete their work. It can be done from wherever people live by email, video conferencing, phone, or even regular post mail. Like all the permaculture diploma programs in the world, this new diploma is based on the core values of service and caring, community and people care, ecological stewardship and earth care, future thinking and fair share. All permaculture design programs are an empowering way for people to self-certify that they are committed to consciously designing regenerative patterns for life, land, and community, and help provide people with the structure, support, and recognition on that journey. Permaculture design programs may be especially well-suited to aspiring teachers of eco-education, sustainability, or permaculture. Motivated PDC graduates who'd like to put their inspiration to work. Aspiring permaculture designers. Land managers who want professional support as they work on their projects. Experienced practitioners who would like to take their practice to a new level. And those who are looking to apply systems thinking and ecological principles to their life. It was profound to be taking this diploma 
with the Permaculture Association while helping to design the new People's Diploma with Jason and Scott for the Permaculture Institute and doing that as a final project in my doctoral degree with Larry Santoyo in the Permaculture Academy. It's the convergence of learning paths from three powerhouse educational forces. A design web anchor point is pause, rest, rejuvenate, recharge, and regenerate. Please take a good solid breath before we launch into the last section of the presentation. It's been so great to practice being an advisor, a mentor, a teacher, a student, and a guide in different capacities for people pursuing permaculture. In my one hour mentorship sessions, I very often come back to the design web for a guiding structure, doing 30 to 45 minute follow-ups by email with notes, reflections, and resources after the sessions. My intention is also to bring in more from the cultural emergence toolkit into this practice. A few days ago, I was on a group Zoom call with food forest maestro Dave Jackie, who said, articulate your goals, don't set your goals, which spoke to me about how to design an ever-changing learning path, which I believe a diploma can offer. Bill Mollison proclaimed, like the extant system of itinerant teachers, we will maintain a power-free, multinodal, non-hierarchical structure based on the ancient ideas of free people pursuing free inquiry in line with our accepted ethics. Ultimately, the diploma gives people the opportunity to hone hard skills, cultivate new practices, and become more confident as a designer and teacher. With the support of Lumi McNamara and her design methods, I've discovered that the diploma can empower people to uncover more of their gifts and how to share them in a practical and meaningful way, enabling people to live more into their life purpose and consciously design their destiny. A design web anchor point is integration, key learnings, recognize core needs and functions and how they can be fulfilled by designing systems. Look for leverage points and tipping points. Luby McNamara shared this key insight during my journey. Choose a design framework for design first before you start. Take your learning to a competence level through repetition and reflection. Other golden keys, the power of community and love. Together we can achieve the impossible and manifest the miraculous. Consider how to help people become more effective designers. Love David Holmgren and Dan Palmer's description of the designer as mystic, connecting to themselves and their landscape in an empowering and transformative way. I like to think about designer as visionary, creatively cultivating a caring and conscious culture. Consider cultural emergence principle, be in courage. Step up to life with eyes and heart wide open. Feel the natural inner power that can be used to work hard for positive change and anchor in new healthy patterns. Final exercise considering your own life or a project that you identified for this presentation. Let's fly through the design web intentionally with a series of back-to-back -back questions, a rapid integration through its four phases of the design web. As before, for each anchor point, just write a word or short statement. Growth phase, vision, something you want to achieve. Helps, something that will support you in your learning journey ahead.
limits a core challenge you will be designing for. Exploratory phase, patterns, a successful life pattern to practice during the next level of your design. an unsuccessful life pattern to design out of your design. An unsuccessful life pattern to design out of your system. Ideas, an inspiration to consider. Principles a new perspective to integrate into your design process. Productive phase, integration, a core function of your design. a core need of your design. a core intention of your design. Action, a next step to do in your design process. Momentum, a new daily practice to generate health and motivation. Reflective phase, appreciation, a way to appreciate yourself and your life team regularly.
Reflection, creating a time to process the journey and plan for the future. Pause, a time to be away from work and responsibilities. Integration of the diploma into my design work and future plans. I look to the cultural emergence principle, step into the unknown. Have the courage to head out on adventures, to reinvent yourself, to say hello to the new by saying goodbye to the old. My core function is to help people learn how to learn and teach more effectively while providing free tools to support them in this practice. A design web anchor point is momentum, staying passionate and driven on the design journey. Activating my role as Diploma Program Coordinator for the Permaculture Institute. Would love to take a tutor training through the Permaculture Association. Grace and I are currently working with TJ Vision on a short video series with a permaculture media team shared on our YouTube page. We will continue to share the Permaculture Design Deck available as a black and white free download online or as a printed full color 230 card deck. Soon to complete the new edition of the Permaculture Design Elements Cards, a design charrette game featuring elements commonly found on permaculture sites with game boards. We're also hard at work on a permaculture design notes book in the works for 18 years, sharing the full permaculture design course core curriculum a large section on food preservation from Grace, medicine making from Kimchi, extensive additions and upgrades from Tamara Griffiths, additional contributions and editing from Annalise Hordern, photos from Dana Wilson, art from Brenna Quinlan, and design from Alexis Spatty. I'm seeking support to produce this 400 page textbook as a core sharing of all I've learned, including extensive content from the permaculture pioneers I studied with this will be a free share online, but also a full 400 page full color textbook. Charles Eisenstein said, we're all here to contribute our gifts towards something greater than ourselves and we'll never be content unless we are. A cultural emergence principle, connect with a bigger vision for ourselves and humanity. Consider your capacity to contribute. My mentor, Alison Gray says, Immerse yourself in solving big problems. Can you give some of your precious life to serve inspiring community projects? In a recent podcast with Dan Palmer, my teacher and mentor, Jason Gearhart, talked about establishing mutual aid networks and the importance of redesigning an economy of the household and community relationships. Pablo Picasso said, the meaning of life is to find your gift and the purpose of life is to give it away. My golden key is garden, learn, teach, and be of service to become better. With this final diploma presentation, seek to practice the cultural emergence principle, come into the light, discover and share your gifts, Participate with community, be seen, allow your light to shine. Recommend doing a diploma with anyone seeking to deepen their permaculture practice while getting key support and recognition for what they're already planning to do. Highly recommend Luby McNamara's classes, both in person and online, as well as her books and resources. She is truly a permaculture teacher for the 21st century. With deep thanks to my mentor from the Permaculture Academy, I will close with a quote from Permaculture Jedi, Larry Santoyo, who said prophetically, the world will continue, but it is up to us to decide how we will participate in its future.
Thank you. Uh, could not be prouder, Delvin. Thank you. That was awesome. Um, I would like the rest of the uh, information on your exercise. I wasn't able to keep up. I'm uh, distracted by shiny things over here. Uh, I'm sitting here uh, in the hills above my small uh, coastal village of Los Angeles and uh, the, surrounded by the Hollywood signs like, I don't know, 700 feet away. Uh, so there's a lot going on. And I think that the timing for what you're saying, it couldn't be better. Uh, in referring to the, uh, the, the book idea and the crowdfunding, people don't know what's going on, don't know what's gonna happen, is the perfect time to move in and tell them what's happening. Okay, nothing's fucked here, dude. <laughs> we trained for this. This is, you know, this is not a thing. So I think that that is our biggest message right now. Trust your feelings, you know, go back to the basic, you know, resource and needs list, check your neighbors, you know, it couldn't be simpler and it couldn't be a better time to practice. It. I'm very honored to uh, meet uh, through our technology, um, Luby and the rest of the group here. Thank you. Lovely, thank you, Larry. And Aranya, would you like to share something with Delvin? Because Aranya did the, his um, portfolio assessment after me. Uh, yes, I mean, it's just been great to finally properly speak to you because you've always been this picture or <laughs> somewhere or uh, you know, your name has appeared in so many places. You, you clearly live and breathe permaculture and it is your life. And, and as Larry was saying, you know, right now, the fact that as permaculturists, what we train for is to read the landscape, to try and understand where we are, to, to understand relationships and how they change. And it's one thing to tell it's the difference for me between doing a design for somebody and just saying we should should do this and actually learning how to do it for yourself is that life changes things change and we've had a really big change going on at the moment and you know if you try and order seeds at the moment thankfully i've done that already but you know you go on a seed company website and it's we're completely full and overwhelmed and we can't do anything about your order for another three weeks and people want to know this stuff and it's going from being this hey it'd be nice to learn that one day to maybe I should get on and learn it now and and so our time as permaculture teachers is really here you know and you are at the cusp of that you're the on the leading edge going out into the world and absolutely not to be making yourself redundant <laughs> that's me thank you really appreciate it yeah lovely great well I'll um take the opportunity to have the last words and um, just really appreciate all that you've articulated, all that you've learned and stretched yourself and challenged yourself and really um, exceptional documentation that you've done and really exceptional sharing that you've done really, um, you know, to really spread this out globally and to really make these tools available and freely to people has been such a gift to the permaculture community as a whole and really helped to expand the permaculture movement which as as we've all said is really necessary in this emergent time this really is the embodiment of emergence that we're going through and we really hope that um, your work will contribute to turning this emergency into emergence fertile emergence thank you so much delvin for being on this journey